Uh, taking us through the papers this morning, Polly Courtney, John Nicol, good to see you. Morning. Yeah. Polly, I want to move to The Independent, page 27, and um, the revolting ski staff. Mm. Um, just to be clear, they're not revolting as in disgust. <laughs> um, they seem quite nice people, actually. Um, they are having a revolt. Um, because they haven't been paid, they are owed um, £4,000 by their ski uh, company, um, and they are not leaving the luxury chalet that they work in <laughs> until they get paid, um, which I think is brilliant. Um, and you may, a lot of people may be thinking that, you know, ski staff, like, it must be quite an easy life, you know, you spend all day skiing, and it's, it's pretty, pretty good life out in the mountains. But um, I know a few people who've worked in the mountains, and actually, it's a really tough job. It oh, doesn't sound, I know you're <laughs> going to say that, but you're kind of working 7 a.m. till midnight, and Ooh. you're not actually getting to, to ski and to enjoy the benefits of the mountains. You're there kind of picking up after the luxury, the guests in their luxury chalet with their sort of, Jacuzzi and sauna, and and actually, if they're owed four thousand pounds in any so other job, of, then they? yeah, so they're they're not they haven't occupied a low grade chalet. They've chosen well, a luxury chalet. Right. <laughs> Quite right, right too. Yeah. They, they, they won't damage anything, yeah. which is good. Yeah. They seem very nice. Yeah. I, th I think. Well, do you know what? I don't blame them. them. It's it's a good way of taking some sort of positive action. So fermenting yeah. revolution. Yeah, yeah. I think revolution oh, well. is good. Well, Google goggles. Mm. These sound interesting. Yeah. So you put on your goggles, which are sort of. They're quite cool looking, they're sort of sunglasses. Yeah, yeah, uh, and oak, well, those looking, are oak, yeah, They are, they are. I don't know if that's actually what they're going to look like. They haven't come out yet. But um, through looking with, looking through them, you can um, read your texts, get your emails, and um, see what's on the high street. Sort of augmented reality. Um, the only flaw I can see... Well, can you see where you're going? Is, <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, I think one eye shows you the kind of what's going on digitally, and one actually allows you to see through, oh. something like that. But the, the floor I see is that it's activated by sort of flicking and twitching your head, which I think maybe yeah, yeah may cause a few health it, problems perhaps. and may make there is a more important point is the fact that Steve knew immediately that there were Oakley sunglasses. The Guardian Polly uh, mm. actually I've just come out of hospital. Um, so did they, it, feed you? it sounds did like they, feed you they did, but it wasn't NHS, I have to say. Uh, um, it wasn't an NHS. It wasn't an NHS. NHS it was a, it was <laughs> but, it was, but the Guardian is saying the NHS staff told to give patients food, drink, and painkillers. Yeah, apparently uh, we are <laughs> we are having to say this to them. I'm not quite sure how this has happened, how we've got to this state where you actually have to give direction to <laughs> to staff to say. When that elderly gentleman in Ward 4 looks like he's thirsty, give him some water. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, and I've seen this firsthand, that, that is actually happening. I see sort of food, if it is put down, then it's sometimes put down out of reach. And these are for, these are for people who are kind of immobile. I just, well, has nurse, just, have nurses changed? Has uh, nurses changed? Do you know what I mean? I think Absolutely. the demands on their time have just got so much more that they don't have time to to um, kind of properly engage and, and think, and, and of course they, they're on short shift, or, or, or sorry, they're on long shifts, but they're only able to see each person for not very long but you still time. Do, nobody needs to be told that if somebody is calling for painkillers or calling for a bedpan, mm. you should deal you with would that. Think. You know, you don't need to. But there was a time, though, when painkillers were not given as freely as they are now, and certainly I know within the NHS there, there is a, a, a the idea there of saying uh, you should not have to endure any pain. Yeah, and I, don't, I suppose those are policies slightly separate from the kind of food and water type situation. They're That's more natural medical. humanity, isn't it, really? Well, yeah, it That's is. That's the caring no, profession. So. Yeah. Oh dear, dear, dear. <laughs> Let us know what you think about that on Twitter if you like. But you shouldn't spend too long on there, John, should you? You should not. And you, all of you people here are Twitter, you're twittering merrily away, Julia. <laughs> the co founder of Twitter, uh, Christopher Stone, has said, Stop it! Stop it already, it's unhealthy. You're really pleased about no, this, aren't you? I don't, don't you're not, you're, you're not, not a tweeter. Don't take a don't know what you're missing. Because it's nonsense. <laughs> I had bacon and eggs for my breakfast. Well, Why does anybody want to know? Oh, that's nonsense. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolute bunk of Imagine a bowl. What mess. you're saying is don't spend 12 hours yeah. on, on Twitter, which is slightly <laughs> different. Let's not let the truth get in the way of a good headline here. <laughs> but what he's saying is that, you know, there are people who stay logged on for 12 hours at a time. Why? Uh, mm, that does seem problematic. Just... But I think, you know, I think it's only as good as what you put in. And if, you, if you're going to put, I have bacon and eggs for breakfast, not that interesting. So what has, been your, what has been your most interesting tweet, Polly? Oh, what one I put just out there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, 
Oh gosh, oh, it might have been something to do with the complete lack of women on Sports Personality of the Year, oh, which I had a bit of a rant about here. <laughs> but yeah, I think it is it's not quite on par with the no, eggs and beans. No, sometimes, sometimes it's quite nice to be able to vent your spleen. Yeah, as you say, I can get on that soapbox yeah. for your yeah, yeah, 40 yeah. followers. It's nice to get immediate response to it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Somebody tweeting that list right now. Exactly. Tweeting it. Not quite in yet. Not quite in just yet, though. I guess I'm not going to get many supporters if they're tweeting no, it up. No. I don't get, get, get on that Twitter or see if they can be They'll be sending oh, a tell John, tell John he's a Philistine. That's... <laughs> There you go. Excellent. How's that for an instant response, John? Um, very briefly in the Times, if we can, Polly, longer curfews, more tags. So. Yeah, this makes me really sad because earlier we were talking about the, the number of NEETs, the, the fact that there's nearly a million people not in education, employment or training. Yeah. And this is the same people. These are the people who are resorting to crime because actually they haven't got any future, they haven't got any sort of potential, um, and you know, or they, they see that they have no potential because they haven't been able to do anything worthy with their time. And of course, yes, yeah, so it's certainly they're turning to cry. And then what are we doing with them? We're, we're giving them longer sentences imposed by Cameron, who's obviously being really reactive to people saying, you know, we need longer, we need bigger, bigger punishment. But it's not just about punishment, but, it's but rehabilitation. What, but what about the people who haven't got jobs and haven't got money, who don't turn to crime? Why but, are you all supporting the ones And of course they are crime? a minority, but I don't think we should support them. I think we should rehabilitate them because we don't want them to prison. reoffend. This, this Five years in prison, prison and they won't do it again. 16 hours well, a day do. in their That's the trouble, John. They, they do, do re-offend. Um, I tell you what, time is running out on us, but thankfully the weekend is not far away. This according to the uh, Express Poly, yeah, 518. It's official. 518 is when we clock off for the weekend, apparently. Um, according to a survey, I'm not sure actually who did the survey, but it's, um, <laughs> it's official, for sure. Well, my, my bottle of white wine is chilling in the fridge as we speak, mm. ready for that... 518 moment. Takeaway? Oh, Apparently go. most people do a takeaway. They also didn't take into account Sunrise presenters that work through the week. Yeah, yeah. You're all white wine starting. No, I'll start the morning, does it give you? But never mind, you can't have it all. Thank you both very much.